Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. Today's video is rather exciting for myself. I have been given by a lovely guy called Drew, thank you very much Drew, um, this awesome little Nintendo game and watch, literally this time a watch. You may be more familiar with these things, this is a faulty one that I picked up on eBay for about £13. Um, it's probably going to be repairable, but the shell is pretty past it, so I'm going to have to keep my eye out for one of those. But it's important to note that this was made by a company called Xeon, this wasn't actually made by Nintendo, although Nintendo licensed it, and along with this one, a couple of others. I have put a new battery in it, but... But when I went to go and set the date and time, um, I'm having a couple of problems. So if I press set on the side here, it actually starts going through the different um, tens up here and I basically can't change it. I think what's happened is this button here is not seated properly and I've tried to sort of wiggle it around and move it, um, but I haven't had any luck. So. I'm thinking what I'm gonna have to do is take it completely apart. Now, I've never done this before, I haven't seen a video on how to do it. I'm not sure if it's gonna be easier, if I'm gonna break it, but I thought, why not try it together? So the first obvious thing to do would be to flip it upside down. Uh, there's four screws just located on the back of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo those. Uh, this will actually be a watch that I'm probably going to wear quite a lot. Okay. Inside you will find the little battery which is just held down by this little uh, screw and bracket. So I'll go ahead and remove that. And then we can take out the actual battery itself. Okay, now inside here I'm seeing a bunch of screws. So I think what I'm gonna do is just remove them all, uh, pop them to the side uh, in the way that I can see them and then hopefully the whole thing will sort of just come out. Okay, so we've removed this little bracket piece here. Uh, this little plastic piece obviously sort of holds everything uh, together. And then this little metal shield actually contains the sort of springs for the buttons on the side. So that's a very important piece. Um, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little spring here. Seems to be sort of adhered down. I was slightly worried about that. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just flip this upside down and probably press the buttons down. There we go, yeah. That's probably the best way to go about doing it. Just like that, and there we go. We are now inside the watch. So I can give this a nice clean, which is gonna be uh, very, very satisfying, although this thing isn't really in bad condition at all. Um, and then here is actually our little game and watch. This is all of the components to make this thing work. So here, we can get access to our little sort of button piece. Now, taking a look around, uh, we can actually probably see why this thing isn't working. If I just show you this, it's sort of all crunched up on the side. Okay, so I've sort of just worked it out a little bit and that's looking a bit better. I'm confident now that will probably actually work, uh, which is good. So, I think a little clean is in order, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on the board um, and on the underside of the contacts, and then we'll give everything a little clean, put it back together and try and set it and then actually maybe have a little play. That's probably all it's gonna need. I can't imagine these buttons have really been sort of mashed like you would see on a Game Boy, but um, just a nice little clean, just to know that it is uh, cleaned. And then we can also take our um, button PCB and actually this you probably would want to give a bit of a better clean because uh, the dust will get through all the little crevices on here. So just make sure everything on the top is nice and clean. And then if we flip it over the underside and just give these little black um, dots a little clean as well. They're just the conductive rubber contacts. Give the whole thing a final dust off. Uh, 
and the inside of our actual case a little dust off as well. Cool, and then we can hopefully just drop everything back in. So let's grab our button contact here, and this can obviously go in only one way, and it looks like that is the right way for it to go in. Um, hopefully now, we're actually gonna get a button press out of that rubber contact. I think it should be okay. It's still a little bit deformed there on the side, but I'm hoping it's gonna be sufficient enough. So if we just drop our screen back in, give it a little blow just to make sure that the uh, no dust has gotten inside. There we go. Okay, so metal bit back in. Oh no, uh, what went in first? So I just had to uh, clip these little tiny metal clips behind the red, red button there. That one's very, very difficult. I did that off camera just to avoid the frustration of trying to capture it on film. I'm gonna just give the um, battery contact here as well a little clean with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, no harm in it, to be honest with you. And boom, we are cooking with gas. We don't know yet whether or not it's actually gonna be fully working, but what I shall do is put these screws on the back. I'm not sure if uh, this metal back bit is needed to be on for it to work, but um, I'm gonna put it on anyway. Big thank you to Drew uh, for giving this to me. Um, I'm definitely gonna be cherishing this in my collection. Uh, I'll probably look out for some more because I'm a little bit of a uh, collector slash hoarder, whatever you want to call it. So let's see if our buttons work now. So um, here we have the set button. So if we go ahead and press that and hold it. Or is that the mode button? There we go. Okay, so that's now flashing and it's not incrementing uh, without my control. So that means that it is actually, um, I think, okay. So if we go ahead and adjust it, it's quarter past nine in the morning right now. So there we go. Okay, it's quarter past nine in the morning. We'll go for, uh, let's see, we'll go for 14. Okay, and then set, uh, set, is that set? No, that's set, I don't know. Um, okay, and then that alarm we don't need, but that looks like it's done. So now we just need to figure out how to play this thing, because I haven't got a clue. So I've been playing this game for about the last sort of 10 minutes, trying to figure out how to get it to work so that me showing you it isn't just extremely painful, but I'm actually just not sure. I'm not sure how to start the game. I'm not sure um, how to win the game. I just know that I've died so many times and it's getting rather frustrating. So that, I think that means that I caught a bomb or a fireball. That means I died to the mushroom because I jumped too early. So I know how to die. That means, you know, I fell. Okay, here we go. This is the finale right now. Nope, I died. Nope, I died. Nope, I died. I don't even know how to start. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> I can't do it. Right, uh, this is it, I'm having one more go now. And then if I can't do it, I'm calling it a day. I still don't understand how to start this game. Jumped and it didn't register. Oh God, okay, I'm done.
Oh. Oh, okay, right, I'm done. Right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thanks again, Drew, for sending this to me, for giving this to me. Uh, I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to get better at this game. Maybe I'll show you in a future video. I hope you have all enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.